Hey, what's up guys? Uh, coming to you with an unusual afternoon version of the Shop Life vlog series over here on the Old Barn Homestead channel. And um, <clears throat> my name is Gary, for those of you that don't know. Um, I thought what I'd do today uh, real quick is just show you the tooling that came with uh, the lathe, or I'm sorry, the mill. Um, and I was going to get it unloaded today, but the uh, guy in the big tow truck got called out to some kind of a big wreck and um so i had him scheduled for three o'clock on friday afternoon and so he's going to come first thing in the morning uh instead which will work fine um so one thing it came with is this 50 taper to morris taper i'm guessing that's mt2 or mt3 i, I don't have any morris taper drills or tooling yet uh, so i don't know what the sizes you know just by sight what they are but I'm guessing from what I've seen on videos and pictures online that that's MT, MT2 or 3, one of the two. Uh, so that's kind of cool. And uh, again, these are, this is 50 taper up here and these are all 40 taper back here. Uh, so this is an end mill holder and that looks like an um, inch and a half there or so, uh, somewhere in that range. This looks like a, a half inch or three quarter inch end mill holder, 50 taper. And this looks like maybe a seven eighths or one inch. Um, actually, it says one inch on there. Um, and it's got some kind of adapter in it. I'll have to take that out. Uh, this one right here I thought was really interesting and cool. This is 50 taper and it's a old school insertable face mill. Uh, not your you know modern carbide inserts, but these are high speed steel. And, you know, I don't know if this is, uh, you know, if, if these are sharp or what. I'm guessing that there's a jig that you could rig up uh, for your grinder to sharpen these and put the right angles and everything on them. And they have actually several different angles on, the, on each one of those. So, you know, it'll be interesting to kind of figure that out and see if that's a usable tool or not. Be interested to see what you guys think about that. Uh, this is, looks like a, a Jacob's taper. Uh, arbor on on a 40 taper for a for a drill chuck um, This looks like some kind of Morse taper Adapter looks like a 40 40 taper to maybe mt4 Morse taper uh, This was really sweet. I was glad to see this in there uh, This mill unusually has a a lot of the horizontal mills that have the vertical head attachment Don't have a quill but this one because it's a factory made uh, specifically, you know, vertical and horizontal. It actually has a quill so you can use, you know, or help with drilling. You can use a vertical head without a quill and just use the, the knee to, to feed in, but um, it'll be a lot more handy to have a quill on it. And this is an 18 in super chuck from Jacobs, an older one. And um, this can take a drill from eighth inch to three quarter. So you can fit a three quarter uh, shank in that. Um, and I know they make a 20 in and I believe a 22 in too that goes up bigger. It doesn't have a chuck key with it I'm sure I can pick one of those up um, Online or something uh, Another end mill holder that looks like, you know, maybe 3 8 there um, Another uh, again 40 taper end mill holder. I don't know what that is. Maybe 3 quarters or 5 8 Somewhere in that range. Um, this one 40 taper with looks like a slitting saw arbor. I don't know for sure, but that's kind of what it looks like um, here is a, let's see if this has got a, yeah, this is seven eighths, um, a little stub ball nose, uh, end mill in there. Uh, so a two flute kind of interesting. looks like maybe, uh, this is a shop made one or something where it's been ground and, uh, sharpened or cut off and sharpened or something. Maybe don't know for sure, but kind of interesting. Uh, and I got three show mills that came with it. Um, there's one that looks like it's brand new. This is a, I think a two inch one. Um, and this is on a Japanese um, Lindex uh, tool holder. And um, you can see it's got a um, set screw in the bottom of it there. Uh, so that one looks like it's in good shape. The other two, I don't know, what do you guys think about this? See how it's, you know, kind of brown on the bottom? Is that where just oil sat on it and then dried up from just you know heat over the years or is that actually being you know where it's been burned and run too hot 
Um, the sides profile seem pretty sharp. Uh, the, the, the face of it, you know, seems like it might be a little uh, worn out. So I believe that is a four inch one and this is a three inch one and then there's a two inch one. Um, right here is, well, let me ask you this. Um, anybody know what this is? This is a Wilton uh, 2600 power lock. I looked it up online. I didn't really see much about it. It's something hydraulic though. So I didn't know if this might go to a power feed for the, for the knee or what that goes to. So um, would be interested in, or maybe like a power draw bar, uh, could be something like that. Um, and then uh, it, it also came with the horizontal arbor um, for, you know, for using the, the horizontal cutters. So, um, and then it's got a bunch of spacers on it and then the lock nut on the end. So um, I don't have any of those cutters though. So we'll have to come up with what we're gonna do for that. I'm gonna move the camera real quick and show you a couple more things and then we'll wrap it up. So it came with the Arbor support as well. A uh, little bit different looking than the ones you normally see for a horizontal mill that have the two uh, overarm um, shafts that come out on it, um, round shafts. This one, I guess the, um, the ram uh, comes out and then this slides up on the dovetails uh, and then, you know, catches your, you know, your, your arbor would, would go through it like that, you know, and then you've got your uh, uh, 50 taper that goes in the horizontal spindle. Um, and it looks like this would, this would be a lot shorter than what you see on like the Kerner, Kearney and Trekker um, one that A-Bomb 79 has and uh, uh, what is that? Keith Finner and Keith Rucker both have the, the K&T 2H I think it is that they have and then the one Adam's got is a bigger unit than that. Um, and then lastly it came with um, a Accurite Mill Vision old school three axis DRO. And I had to take this off. Uh, it was on a mounted on a bracket on the side of it. And of course, I didn't want that uh, making the trip hanging out there flopping around. So I took it off. Uh, we'll get it mounted back and see if it works. I think it does uh, that they said that they tested it. I know they, uh, they tested the spindles and, um, you know, in general operation of it. Uh, but I'm not sure about the DRO. Um, so, um, Anyway, guys, uh, it's Friday afternoon and got getting started on a project here this weekend and uh, the mill is uh, still out there on the trailer and waiting on the guy to come in the morning to get that unloaded. So hopefully we'll get some video of that. My GoPro is acting up on me, so I got to work on that and figure out what's going on with it. Um, but uh, yeah, hope you guys are doing good. Have a good weekend and we'll talk to you soon.